so my name is Stuart Robinson and I'm with uh, Terry Dici, uh, Director of Systems Engineering. And today I'm going to talk about PC over IP protocol, uh, the next generation remote desktop uh, display technology. PC over IP technology is enables server-based computing uh, for any user in today's rich desktop. And this is over any network, whether it's a local area network or a wide area network. We work on any platform, including software and hardware, so IT get the flexibility to mix and match as needed, depending on their use case. And we're, uh, the technology is available from leading vendors, including over 20 uh, zero-client partners. Teradici, who developed uh, PC over IP protocol, was founded in 2004. Uh, and in 2007, we took the first uh, PC over IP products to market. Uh, these were workstation-based products for high-end 3D uh, graphics and CAD applications. Uh, in 2008, uh, Samsung integrated the zero client device into their monitor, creating a new uh, device form factor, and Teradici uh, signed an agreement with VMware to integrate PC over IP technology into VMware View. In 2009, VMware View with PC over IP went to market, uh, and in 2010, we saw a significant increase in the adoption of zero clients, and 2011 is shaping up uh, to be focused on the server offload card and VDI scalability. There's a number of technology uh, applications and advantages with the protocol, uh, including host rendering, image decomposition, and adaptive networking. On the host rendering side, all the dis display pixels are rendered in the server, and this is the way applications expect them to be, uh, so it maintains application or operability. For image decomposition, we determine the right uh, compression technology to use with the right, pixel, uh, the right pixels and adaptive networking. Networking is an inconsistent resource, so being able to adapt to the available resources will allow an exceptional user experience over any network. Some of the other key components for healthcare is that we always build to lossless. And what this is, is we progressively refine the image until it's pixel perfect. So anyone who's looking at the image will know that it's exact as it is on the source. We don't have any application dependencies, so we're completely independent of whatever application's running. That could be from low-end EMR all the way up to high-end primary diagnostic reviews. Uh, we have WAN optimization technology built right into the protocol to allow uh, this to happen over wide area networks. Could be city to city, state to state, or continent to continent. These three capabilities allow us also to have a stateless zero client. So this is a zero client that is ultra secure. All the data remains in the data center. Uh, we only display pixels, uh, send pixels out over the network. It's very simple to manage. There's no Windows or Linux OS uh, on the client itself. And it's a stateless uh, architecture. It's a rich multimedia experience. Again, we have uh, high-end uh, HD video animation, uh, car companies, aircraft manufacturers doing high-end 3D simulations and modeling using this technology. Uh, but it could also be used for mainstream desktops. It is an uh, optimal form factor for a client. There's no storage, there's no hard drive, no fan, it's very low power, and a very low footprint, especially when you integrate it in a display, it removes an extra box off the desktop, reclaims some space. And it's certified with VMware View 4.5, uh, which will continue going forward. Some of the key things about the Zero Client is that it doesn't have an x86 processor. As I mentioned, there's no application OS. That means there's no patch updates to do uh, you know, patch Tuesday. There's no need to update drivers. You don't need antivirus or spyware. It's just a device, a chip that uh, decodes the piece of IP protocol. And it's a very low power operation. It's future proof. So the graphics can handle high-end graphics today, DirectX 10, uh, what at DirectX 11. Any future graphics that are coming, Silverlight, whatever the next gen Google Chrome is, uh, you don't have to swap out the client because some graphics or application interface changed. And it's very secure. Uh, and it has some unique peripheral authorization that's not possible in other PC form factors, uh, which is fast becoming a baseline requirement in the intelligence community and defense, defense accounts. This is also applicable in healthcare. Uh, and in one example is you can have uh, some doctors require uh, the ability to take files with them on a flash drive. Uh, you could assign a hardware encrypted flash drive to make sure the data is secure. And now you will only enable that encrypted flash drive to work with the zero client. All other drives or uh, iPod, other flash devices uh, would be unauthorized. And when that happens, we physically block the USB plug events in our hardware. 
so the host virtual machine does, doesn't ever see the device. So that's a very secure. Zero clients are available for many uh, leading vendors, including uh, Wise, Dell, and Samsung. Uh, some new ones come, that have been announced that are coming to market uh, are integrated IP phones with Cisco, uh, integrated display with LG, and a, a little uh, small box, small form factor box from EVGA. Uh, and the EVGA one we actually have uh, demonstrated around the corner. So one application of, of PC over IP zero clients in a healthcare environment would be to have these uh, on the floors and now you can connect back to any resource, whether it is uh, an administrator managing patient information uh, or whether it's a doctor uh, checking out uh, something on a diagnostic review or referring back to some high-end imaging workstation. The performance is, is determined by what you connect to back in the server uh, data center. Are you connecting to a virtual desktop for mainstream desktops or are you connecting to a diagnostic workstation uh, which would have an, a PC over IP accelerator card in? All this is done from the same client, and uh, one user after another, so you can have a follow me desktop uh, for as people move throughout the, uh, the uh, hospital environment. So I mentioned that 2011 is gonna be about the server offload card. Uh, this is a new uh, uh, type of technology. It's the industry's first PC over IP offload card for VMware View. It's based on Teradici's hardware. Uh, it's fully integrated with vSphere and VMware View, and what it does is offload the server uh, from doing the compression, and it puts it onto our hardware, and will offload up to 64 displays, and now those CPU cycles can be used for additional VMs. So what we're seeing uh, on early days, uh, we just have this uh, chip back now, uh, is you, we think we can increase up to two times the number of virtual machines per server. Uh, so we're in the process of testing this now. Uh, so there's a significant uh, scalability advantage, as well as power savings, uh, fewer servers, so you uh, require um, less data center space. Also, using hardware to encode PC over IP is 10 times faster, so you get a performance improvement, as well as you can reduce uh, the bandwidth requirements over, over wide area networks. A key component of this technology uh, is the ability to seamlessly switch from the software PC over IP that's in VMware View today over to the hardware. So we'll monitor all the users on a server, and the users that are the most active will get pushed over to the hardware side and free up those CPU cycles. Uh, now, if one of those people who is using the hardware walks away from their desk or their imaging load drops, they could be pushed back to software and another active user could be moved. So there's a seamless switch from software compression to hardware compression and back. Uh, the user can't tell, but now this is very efficient. So you can plug one card into a server and now make sure that your uh, most active users uh, are getting the benefit of the hardware acceleration. And this is already built into uh, VMware View 4.5, uh, just waiting for our hardware to uh, uh, go to production, which will be later this year. Uh, and uh, with that, if you have any questions, I'll, I'll open the floor.